Hi friends, welcome to EduPedia World. This is Varun Ganga. Friends, in the last session, we have learned an example in finding the cube of a two-digit number by using Anurupena Sutra at higher level. And now, in this session, we are going to have a look of one more example regarding the same concept that is finding the cubes of given two-digit number by using Anurupena Sutra. So, why to wait? Let us see what that example is. The example that I am going to take in this session is Find the cube of 82. So friends, in order to find the cube of 82 or any two digit number, at first we had to make a table like this. I think by seeing this table, you would have got pretty idea about the rows and the parts of process that we have discussed in our earlier sessions that is in finding the cubes by Anurupena Sutra at beginner's level. Here too we use the same concepts, but we will get our answers at a very short level. So now let us see, if you observe the table here in the first row, the first part, what I have done is, I have cubed the digit that is in tens place. So here in the given example 82, we are having 8 in tens place and by cubing the number 8, we will get 512 as the answer and that 512 we have to write it in the next row called simplification over here. Now moving to the second part, what I have done here is, I have multiplied the square of the digit in tens place with the digit in ones place. So in our example 82, we are having 8 in tens place and 2 in ones place. So therefore, 8 square into 2 which is equals to 64 into 2 and that is equals to 128 and the answer what I have got as the product that I have written in the next row called simplification over here. Now moving to the third part, here what I have done is I have multiplied the digit in tens place with the square of the digit in ones place. So in our example, I think you can see that we are having 8 in tens place and 2 in ones place. So therefore, 8 into 2 square, which is equals to 8 into 4, and that is equals to 32. The product what I have got, I have written in the next row called simplification over here. Now finally, moving to the fourth part. Here, what I have done is I have cubed the digit that is in ones place. So in our example, you can see that we are having 2 in 1's place. So by cubing the number 2, we get 8 as the answer. And that 8 I have written in the next row called simplification over here. After completion of first row process, now moving to second row. Here what we have to do is, we have to double the answers what we have got in the second part and the third part of the first row. So here in the second part of the first row, the answer what we have got is 128. And if we double the number 128, we get 256 and I have written in second row over here and now moving to the third part of the first row the answer what we have got is 32 and if we double the number 32 we get 64 and that 64 i have written over here now after completion of second row process moving to the next row that is to the third row here what we have to do is we have to add up all the answers what we have got in the first row as well as in the second row so now coming to the fourth part here we are having only the answer in first row, but there is no answer in second row. So, what I am going to do here is, I am going to write the single answer that is 8 as it is in the fourth part of the third row over here. Now, moving to the third part, here we are having 32 in the first row and 64 in the second row. By adding these two numbers, we get 96 as the answer and that 96 I have written over here. Now, moving to the second part. Here we are having 128 in the first row and 256 in the second row. By adding these two answers, we get 384 and that 384 I have written over here. Now finally moving to the first part, here we are having answer that is 512 in first row and there is no answer in the first part of the second row. So therefore, now what I am going to do is, I am going to write the answer 512 as it is over there. After getting the first, second, third and fourth part, of the third row now what we have to do is we have to add up all the answers by using some special rules of additions and carry-ons so friends now coming to the fourth part here we are having only one digit so therefore now what we have to do is we have to write that one digit as it is in the answer over here now moving to the third part here we are having 96 it is a two digit number but according to our rules we should have only one digit so therefore, what we have to do is, we have to take the digit in 1's place that is 6 and we have to write it in the answer over here. 
and the remaining number that is 9 should be taken as carry on to the next part that is to the second part. So here in the answer what we have got is 384 and by adding the carry on 9 to 8 we get 393 which is a 3 digit number. So by using our rules we have to take the digit in one's place that is 3 and the remaining number 39 should be taken as carry on to the first part. So here again in the first part the answer what we have got is 512 and by adding the carry on 39 to 8 we get 551. Since there are no more parts to take the carry ons so what we have to do is we have to take the whole number as it is in the answer and finally by clubbing or combining all the answers what we have got that is in the first second third and fourth part we get the final answer as 551,368 and therefore we can say that 82 cube is equals to 551,368. So friends this is the way how we can use an Arupena Sutra in finding the cube of a given two digit number at higher level. So friends I hope that you have understood pretty well how to use this Anurupena Sutra and in the next session we will be having some more examples for watching this video. Thank you. Have a nice day.